Hello YouTube, it's Brad, and for once I'm not on the bog, I'm actually in the office. I've just been working on the game, um, I've had to go out and pick up a crate from the guys over at My Retro Gamer Zone. Now if you saw my last video, you will know that what they sent me last time was shit, complete shit. And they're back to my monthly crates now. Now they are two months behind, so I was expecting two crates this time, I received one. I honestly don't know what's going on with them. If you look back at my videos, I've championed them since new enough day one when they started. Um, you have to excuse me on this, my eyes are all over the place. My video on my camcorder is broke, so I'm actually using my phone and I'm looking at the screen as opposed to the little camera. So please excuse that. Anyway, going back. They've sent me in the past some really, really top stuff and I've been really impressed. I've done good videos, given them good reviews and everything. But I don't know what's happened to them. I really don't know what's happened to them. Now, this is better than the last shit I got. <laughs> I must admit, it's a little bit better. But the quality, it's... I don't know. They're behind with the crates. It's not just me. I'm getting messages on Twitter, direct messages on YouTube, on Facebook. I'm getting messages on my phone of people that I've ordered off them that know me personally. They, they just haven't got the crates. You know, they, they, some of these people ordered before me and they're missing crates still. But anyway, I got mine today. Like I say, I should have had two. I got one. The two months behind. And what I got really, I am. Um, it's better than the last one. Um, but I'm not impressed. So the first one I got was Space Jam on the PlayStation 1. Now this is disc only. I'm not going to take it out. Um, the disc is fucked. I've tried it. It doesn't work. It's scratched to fuck. Useless. And the case and the quality, yeah, it's also taped up and stuff. It's. Yeah, rubbish. The next one is Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Um, I don't actually own this game, so it's good to have it. Um, but, you know, it's a pound game in a charity shop. It, it's not worth much. Not that, you know, this is all about money. It's not about money. To me, it's about quality and actually playing games that I like. The next one, again, is um, Dead or Alive 2 on the PlayStation 2. Disc only. Disc is scratched to fuck. I've not tried it, but it's scratched. It's it's not good. And finally, there's Virtual Fighter 2 on the Saturn. Now this is actually scratched to fuck. Again, not tried it. Um, yeah, let's see, it's all caught. Now these are the sort of stuff I find week in, week out in my local charity shops. And I'll leave them there because the quality is crap on them. You know, they cost 50p a pound. And like I say, it's not all about the money. Uh, if they were all in great condition, and even if they were a quid each, I mean, you could buy this lot on eBay for six quid delivered. The same games. But it's not about the money with me. It's not about the money. It only costs 11 quid for this crate. It's about getting a game and playing with something you don't own, something that's unexpected, you know, and actually having a bit of fun. A bit like Space Jam. You know, that would have been all right. You know, it's a quid game, but it's if the condition was good enough for it, and it, it got in the collection... I would play it and I would have a bit of fun on it. And, you know, it wouldn't bother me. But when you're sending condition, and they are in bad condition. They are really in bad condition. I, you know, I've got to take it to a shop and get them reserviced. It's not even worth it. I don't want to play it that much. <coughs> um, but, please, what's going on with you? You started off so well. Such quality stuff. Everything was clean, tidy. And the games were a lot better than what you're sending now. Um... I really don't know what's happening with you. I don't want to scream and shout and moan about it. I just thought I'd put a little video up. I buy these things. They don't get sent to me. I pay for them out of my own money. So, you know, I'm allowed an opinion. And my opinion is, it's still crap. Um, yes, it's better than all that fucking shit you sent me last month. But, it it's shit. Come on. As a gamer yourself, you would know it's about quality. Not quality titles, per se but quality of the game, quality of the product you're sending out. You know, you don't want to be have scratch discs that don't load. You can't send that to customers. You, you just can't do it. And it, I mean, I've got one more crate, Joe. I, I don't know if I'm going to subscribe again. That was a good customer. You know by the videos, people watching YouTube, you know how many crates I've had and what I've spent. And I've really enjoyed a lot of the crates. But the last two, I really don't know what's happened. And if that's what you're going to do to your customers, to your loyal customers that do spend money with you, 
what you're doing to the people that are just doing one-offs. You know, it's it's not good, lads. Come on. I know Graham as well, that owns the company. Um, I've speak to him. And he seems a nice enough chap. You know, he's a gamer. And if he's happy with that, as a gamer himself, there's something not right. And I think that he needs to ask himself, and he's always said this in his videos, would I be happy with that crate? And looking at the titles, yes, you would be. But the condition, mate, come on. You know as a gamer. So anyway, I'm getting back to the, doing my programming now. Um, I'll have a video up shortly showing you my new game. And hopefully it'll be running on the Xbox 360, which I've managed to get it running today on there for the first time. So it should be on there pretty soon. And the next video will be that. Uh, as always, you can follow me at Masonic Gamer on Twitter and Masonic Gamers on Facebook. So from me to you, if you're not playing them, keep gaming, guys. Thank you.